This week, a surprise guest. Martha Stewart joins us on the show to talk about the crafts category. Find out how what we learned could apply to your category. Plus, we get to venture out a bit and check out the War Eagle Craft Fair. That and more is focused on suppliers. Starts now. Presented by 8th and Walton, the premier destination for supplier development and sponsored in part by Dun & Bradstreet, the leading provider of credit and credibility solutions for businesses. Our fun fact for the week is that of the 129 million crafters, 77% of them are millennial women. We've traditionally thought of crafting as probably being a little bit of an older sport. What millennials are finding is that they are using their crafting time to really connect, get less screen time, and find something that allows them to relieve their day-to-day -day stress. Fun things like knitting, creating their own art projects, even adult coloring books are allowing them an opportunity to relieve stress and really unwind after a tough day. Make sure that you're emotionally connecting with your shoppers when you talk about these craft experiences and connecting back to the health benefits that a millennial might find. We'll see you next week for your Millennial Minute. Every year, thousands of people come from across the country to this spot in Northwest Arkansas for one of the largest craft fairs in the country. Today's category is crafts, so we thought we'd help you check out the War Eagle Craft Fair. So we're here today with Bonnie Sutton and Jerry Jo Ham, and you guys are family. Your family started this more than 50 years ago. And we'll start with you, Bonnie. Talk to me about your grandmother and why she started this. My grandmother started it. She was a home demonstration agent, and she started as a weaving guild up on the top um, balcony of the house just to teach local um, families and people about the arts and crafts of the Ozark Mountain region, which was Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri, and Arkansas, and it, it's grown from that point on to this. Which is fantastic. I mean, you can see it's huge, and we were talking about you have all different kinds of crafts here. Yes, ma'am. We have uh, basket weaving. We have weaving weaving we have woodcraft it's out here i just think it's a great experience for families and people to come enjoy the fall and enjoy just the the homemade products that can come out from everything being involved in the united states i think it's a great thing for people to see So obviously that's a great glimpse of what you'll find someplace like War Eagle, but what about in the stores? Joining us today, we have with us Steve Schwally. We're so excited to have you with us to talk with us about creative options and let's talk about how your company has evolved because it's an interesting story. Yes, exactly. Creative Options is part of Plano Synergy, which is famous for developing over 60 years ago fishing tackle boxes. So we've taken that understanding of specialized storage, people have a passion for their hobby, and we took that in the late 80s and early 90s to a uh, makeup organization and develop the Caboodles brand, mm -hmm. which everyone's fam familiar with. Uh, it's a pop culture icon and still exists today. Uh, but then in 2007, we took that again to the crafting community. They spend over $300 a year on craft supplies, very important tools, and they're very passionate about their work. And we have a, now today a full line of both hard and soft cases that organize any particular craft, uh, whether it be needle arts, sewing, knitting, fine arts, paper crafting. Those are the most popular crafts today. And just to put this into perspective, so people at home are clear, you were saying more than 60 million people we see crafting. Yes, yes, a huge amount of people in the U.S. are crafting today. In fact, 62 and a half million have at least one craft, but over half of them actually are passionate about two to three crafts. That's a lot of passion there that needs a lot of storage. So tell me again, because you kind of touched on it just in the way the company evolved, about the importance of listening to the consumer. Yes, we spend a lot of time with the crafting community. We go to trade shows. We do a lot of market research to understand how these people are using the tools 
um, you know, it's important to have the tools uh, and the storage item in the same aisle so that they understand how they're going, where they're going to put the tool once they're done with it. Um, we think it's very important to keep their workspace very organized and neat so that they can spend more time on the craft project and not so much on where their tool is, making it easily accessible. So all of our items have compartments and easily customizable spaces for them to put their tool and keep it nice and tidy and with a coordinated look. And what role has social media played in crafting? I mean, it's huge. It's huge. So what, what's interesting is that crafters go extensively online for tips and inspiration. Pinterest is one of the most used social media outlets because of the DIY community that's there. Not only is it shared of what I've done, but I can see what others have done and get mm -hmm. feedback more so than just family and friends. So it's really widened that uh, population of getting feedback there, which is really important. Uh, what we see, though, is that although they get the tips and inspiration there, they're still going to brick and mortar stores to touch and feel the items, to see the item and see how they might use it and purchase it at brick and mortar stores. Which speaking of, one of the things I love is that these are color coordinated. You were saying this is soft, this is, but they're color coordinated because people yeah. want that. Yeah, exactly. So we're really excited because we're unique in that we have both soft and hard plastic storage items that coordinate together with similar color palettes and patterns. So here we have a new caddy that is a two-piece. You can separate it out, has lots of pockets and little places to put your tools and supplies. And then we have here Actually, our most popular item is the grab-and-go rack. This item has a handle for portability. People are taking them to craft classes, conventions, taking it on the go. We've had some people that say they take it to a baseball game if they need to have a little bit of extra time. So we really have a full line that really elevates your workspace and makes it look nice and organized. Thank you so much for being with us today, Thank Steve. you for having me. We'll be right back. In this week's Heart of Business, we get to talk about one of my favorite organizations and one of my favorite people. Clark Ellison, thank you so much for joining us. Senior Vice President of the Mercy Health Foundation. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Your big event, Mercy Ball, O Night Divine, is around the corner. Talk to me about this year's focus. You bet. So um, the event is December the 5th. It's the first Saturday of December every year. And, uh, you know, really the, the night is fun. But there's also a purpose for the night. So this year we are raising money for the cardiology service line. This is a huge fundraising event. Talk to me about the role that Walmart plays as well as suppliers in sure. this event. So Walmart, of course, they have stepped up. This is our 22nd annual. They have been a presenting sponsor ever since the beginning of it. And once again, they are our presenting sponsors. Um, we also have a co-sponsor, Leah Linda Scott, that has also stepped up and are our presenting sponsors again this year. Uh, the corporate support is very important to us. I can speak from experience. It's always a lot of fun, but a moving event as well. Yeah. And you always have a few surprises. This year's guest. Uh, it's an acapella group. So with Pitch Perfect, the movie Pitch Perfect and Pitch Perfect 2 out, uh, there was this huge trend uh, when we were planning a, about the, an acapella group. So they're the Philharmonic. They're from L.A. And they're coming in and they'll do actually two sets with us this year. Uh, they'll do a, uh, just a Christmas song uh, set during dinner time, and then they'll do their touring set uh, towards the end of the night. And, of course, we'll end with the theme song of the night, O Holy Night, which is O Night Divine which is going to be fantastic. Always so moving, and Mercy does so much to help our community. Thank you so much for being here today. Can people still get tickets? Is Absolutely. Okay. So there's a web link that we can send people to, or they can also call our main number. It's 338-2990. Okay. That's a great event. I'm so excited. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Henry Ho, and this is Renee Brandon with Field Agent. Well, Halloween is finally over, and shoppers and retailers are gearing up for the holiday season. That's right. It's time when people start thinking about giving gifts for the holidays. And we recently did a study and asked people what they expect to give for the holidays. And not surprisingly, gift cards was very popular, about 85% of people saying they want to give gift cards. But surprisingly, 73% of people said they're going to give gifts that they make themselves mm. for their holiday gifts. And that was about the same percentage of people who said they were going to give clothing. And we know apparel is always a very popular gift choice. So, Renee, what are people buying? Well, they're buying food items, chocolate and candy and things to make food gifts. They're also buying arts and crafts supplies to make things. But they're even buying cameras and specialized software to make photo gifts. So it really spans across a lot of categories. 
So Renee, are people trying to make gifts as a way of reducing their spending? Well, you might think that saving money would be one of the key drivers, but what we actually found was that uh, most people said they were making gifts because it's more thoughtful or because it was just more fun. So those two things were actually more important and resonated more than saving money. So do we expect this trend to continue and to see it grow more and more? Well, people said that they were very influenced by social media sites like Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. And so it's easier than ever now to get inspiration, tips, ideas, and watch instructions on how to make things. So we expect that to become more and more popular over time. So as always, what is the implication of these uh, insights to manufacturers and to retailers? Well, shoppers are looking for easy gift ideas, but they're also looking for a way to add that personal touch. So giving them uh, information about how to make gifts through social media and doing in-store displays, uh, showing them how to turn that gift into something really special and personal. Thank you, Renee. Those are great insights. If there's anything that we can do for you during this critical holiday season with execution, please give us a call and let us know how we can help you. Go online and check out Ethan Walton's blog. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. We design and install interactive, connected conference rooms. Work with teams all over the world, right from your office. Digital World Productions. Bentonville Commerce, less than one mile from the Walmart home office. You'll love the convenience, amenities, and customized options Bentonville Commerce offers. For more information or a tour, call 479-200-1112 today. The Pack Shack brings teams together for crazy fun feed the funnel parties to pack meals for our neighbors in need. Plan your party today at thepackshack.org. Are chargebacks busting your chops? Take two aspirin and call us in the morning. Ethan Walton for a needs assessment, custom training in a confidential setting, and classes online and in person. Call Ethan Walton, 479-715-6700 and feel better fast. She's an Emmy Award winner, a household name to say the least, a best-selling author. The list goes on and on. We're so pleased to have with us today Martha Stewart. Oh, thank you very much, Neely, for having me today. I'm so glad we were able to work this out with you in New York and us in Northwest Arkansas. Just quickly, is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers who simply just love Martha Stewart? Well, I know that uh, Arkansas is full of crafters, artisans, uh, do-it-yourselfers, and I'm very happy to be able to be addressing all of you uh, this morning. You have done so many things over the years and remain so successful. How do you keep that creative charge and that energy? How do you keep that forward momentum going? Uh, that's not hard to do, not at a place like our uh, company. Uh, we are constantly uh, visiting uh, different places, different countries, uh, all kinds of retail outlets, uh, all kinds of museums, um, different people's homes, uh, and visiting workshops to learn new techniques, to um, understand how things are made, how things are done. And we take back that knowledge to the company itself, and we developed new and different products. It's a constant, constant recharging, if you want to call it that, of our creative juices. Now here's a fun question for you. You know we're heading into fall. It's full-blown craft season. A lot of people have some things that they've got in the works they want to work on. Is there any particular item of yours that you just really want our viewers to know about, the latest and greatest? Well, at Walmart, we're selling both online and in-store uh, these wonderful um, wonderful pom-poms and party decorations. These can be put on a wall or suspended and you can see the white and the beautiful foil um, pom-pom back there. Uh, these are so decorative uh, and they change the whole atmosphere. Uh, hang 20 of those gold pom-poms and you will have an instant 
party um, a feeling in any room. My favorite it is the foil. I just love these uh, Mylar pom-poms. They're lightweight, they're sparkly, they're glorious, and they're large. These are not little dinky things. These are good-sized pom-poms that uh, you will certainly love. And look how nice the packaging is. So easy to see, and on the back, um, lots of uh, ideas for assembling and for uh, installing. Yeah, and, and here's another question. What should a supplier from another category maybe look for in your line when it comes to trends and motif? Well, we've been very, very effective in not only the development of extraordinary uh, and unusual and proprietary product in the crafts world, but we've also been very good in the packaging of that product. I think that um, other um, manufacturers can learn a lot from looking at our packaging, uh, seeing how much information we uh, display on the package, how much of the um, information and how to is included in the package. Uh, all of that really does make a difference. As a female business leader and a woman who's been very successful, how important do you think programs are, like the one that Walmart has in place that highlights other women and female business owners? Well, I wish more companies would follow Walmart's, Walmart's suit and, uh, and support women-owned businesses. Uh, it's very important to encourage women as well as uh, men in uh, entrepreneurial ventures. And uh, I think if you look at statistics, there are more women entrepreneurs than men on, uh, male entrepreneurs in the United States at the present time. But those women need encouragement, they need uh, a place to sell their wares, they need um, a whole lot of uh, of um, just promotion and Walmart's doing a great job in this field. Have you seen very much the Made in the USA label have an effect on products and their success? Well, we run a project every year and we're in our fourth year now called Martha Stewart's American Made. Uh, this is um, a, a wonderful initiative that supports, discovers, and uh, promotes American-made businesses. Businesses that are creative, that are manufacturing here in the United States, uh, products of all kinds. It may be a garden uh, and a gardener who uh, packages the seeds they grow. It may be a furniture maker who is uh, designing and creating beautiful furniture out of American woods and made here in the United States. Uh, it may be a potter who is uh, designing and, and throwing uh, beautiful pots of all different sizes and shapes in Ohio uh, that we will promote. Uh, these are the American makers. This is the future of American manufacturing. And we must, we have to support these makers, these artisans, in as big a way as we possibly can. You know, something everybody has really had to adjust to is social media. How has that affected your business plan or the way that you do things in this category? Uh, Pinterest. What a great place to go for inspiration, for ideas. If you're a potter, you look up pottery on, in, on Pinterest and you get thousands upon thousands of new ideas for pottery shapes and sizes and uses. Uh, if you are a, a flower designer, you go to flowers and you get all kinds of ideas. The same thing with Instagram. Instagram is a way of sharing your ideas with others. Pinterest is a way to learn from others. And Twitter, of course, you can do instant surveys. So, uh, put up a picture of something that you've made, ask your audience, do you like it? Link to others uh, to get a broader audience. Uh, you will find uh, great success using these social media outlets. And, uh, and of course, Facebook the biggest of all, reaching 1.2 to 4 billion people. Uh, it's incredible. And uh, this social media is very, very important in building a business. Well, Martha, we are out of time. Thank you so much for being available to us. This is very helpful to all of our suppliers. We appreciate you, Martha. Thank you. Thank you very much, Neely. Visit us at 8thandwalton.com to learn how you can become a better partner with Walmart. Today, investors are in search of more options with their investments. If you're 59 and a half, you can often roll your 401k over to a traditional IRA. This will give you more investment options. Curious? Call Mach 1 Financial now to see if you qualify. Our graduates are part of the diverse, skilled workforce in the region's most successful companies. Invest in the future of your team. Invest in the Single Parent Scholarship Fund of Northwest Arkansas.
Buyers Meeting tomorrow, 9 a.m. Time for a miracle. Time for rapid prototypes. Emergency packaging services means shelf-ready packaging and displays, printing to almost any material beyond photo quality. Short-run production for sales samples or store tests. Need it all? Customize your look with our structural, graphic, and 3D design. Need a miracle? Rapid prototypes. Rapid-prototypes.com or 479-273-FAST. Beat the odds and know your risk factors for heart disease and stroke. Stay informed. Join the American Heart Association on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Do you do 3D? With the amazing I Do 3D pens, you can draw and create awesome 3D art. Follow the 3D guidebook or let your imagination run wild. Build it, wear it, create it. Anything you can imagine. He does 3D, she does 3D, you do 3D. I do 3D. I do 3D pens are available in multiple colors and packs. Select packs include 3D guidebooks. Your pen, your world. Bailey joining us once again from Menasha. I have to say thank you. Always a pleasure to have you. Great to be here. I want to talk even more because we kind of touched on it last time. Beacon technology and smart displays and then merging all this information and helping people with things like Google. Talk to me about what you're able to do for your clients. Well, Beacon technology is going to play such a critical role at retail. Uh, just bringing and closing that gap for the shopping experience. 90%, Google tells us 90% of all the shoppers that are in the brick and mortar environments are carrying a smartphone. And over 73% of them use that phone to make purchase decisions. And in that path to purchase, they're price checking, sure, that's one of the things they do, but they're also peer checking. Uh, they're, they want input, you know, they're uh, ambivalent to their purchase. They're looking for confirmation and affirmation from their peers. So they're using that smartphone. Smart displays offer us a platform to talk to that shopper and deliver content. And that's a huge advantage in closing that gap. And it's part of the digital strategies that the retailers are now starting to get grasp a hold of as they plan for this digital future, right? And if you want to take it one step further, there's some other things you can do as well. We're having some fun with a really unique platform. We've introduced pharma tailing, which is bringing curated content uh, at the point of health and wellness self-advocacy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, patients can find out information on a private platform about potentially their illness or a disease state, and they can get that information, and then it becomes also part of the pharmacist's recommendations to steer them down the correct path of self-advocacy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we see a number of other opportunities. I know you kind of know a little bit about where I'm headed. We see, you know, there's a space in there for beauty, I know. That's what I was getting ready to say. Are we about to see that? Because I think a lot of female consumers, but also just your brands are going to be so interested in this. There's a tremendous opportunity to present more information to the shopper again. And as we see that, you know, and you're in an environment, a beauty environment, you're looking for consultation. Can we have a beauty concierge that would be a part of the content delivered on your smartphone to help you make decisions? And then we look even a little further down, we want to help moms. So we're also considering, you know, baby sourcing some of that atmosphere to help moms, particularly first moms, make decisions for children. Um, if we can provide information that would help close that gap in education, uh, you know, the mother that walks into a Walmart store at 3 a.m. in the morning with a baby with an earache uh, is looking for information on how to help solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And we want to help in that space. And pharma tailing and, and beacon technology has the ability to deliver information on that platform. It is the future and can be very helpful for suppliers. Carrie, thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Our guest now is Allison Diaz from I Love to Create. Thank you so much for coming here to be with us today. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I want to give people a brief synopsis of your company's history because it's a great example of how to adjust to the ever-changing environment. Absolutely. We were founded in 1946 as Duncan Ceramics. A woman named Irma Duncan had a passion for ceramic arts and founded the company with the help of her son and her husband. And through the years, it was extremely successful. 
Um, in the late 70s and early 80s, the company started to see a shift in consumer behavior and diversified and became Duncan Enterprises. And with that diversification, we started getting into the craft business um, through organic building of brands and also the acquisition of brands, most notably Tulip and Aline's, we became um, a very large presence within the craft industry. You said there was another adjustment or an awakening with the yeah. era of social media. Yeah, in the late 2000s, we recognized that Duncan Enterprises didn't mean anything to the consumer. Um, and we started, and it's kind of silly to say, but MySpace, if we all remember that, yes. um, the MySpace.com slash Duncan Enterprises didn't feel good. It didn't sound good, and the consumer didn't know what that meant. And so we started a program of looking at what could we actually be called to the consumer. And in 2009, we officially changed our company name to I Love to Create. And that represents our craft business today and is something that the consumer can relate to. Mm -hmm. And it stands for something, and it gives her some passion to go out and stand behind. And you are very hands-on with all of your craft. I mean, you work on these things in the office. Talk to me about that a little bit. Yeah, our office environment is not corporate at all. Um, maybe it has to do with being in California. I don't know. But um, I bring my dog to work. Um, a lot of people bring their dog to work. It's very normal for us. Um, craft products are everywhere. Uh, we're encouraged to use them. Uh, I'll host brainstorms or even just team meetings, and we'll just start painting or gluing or glittering. And the idea is to just be creative at all times. And you're, one of the things you guys are really big on is make it easy. Absolutely, yeah. Our purpose statement is we make it easy to experience creativity. And in everything we do, we are very passionate about that, both for ourselves, but also the end consumer. And we care most about her end experience with our product. When we talk about trending and what you're seeing in your category, I can't help but mention Pinterest, and especially this item, because you guys experienced something with that. Yes, so we've been playing with Pinterest for basically since it began, and it's been successful. It drives a lot of traffic to our website, um, but in particular this summer, I think we really caught on to how to use it really, really well, and we had a single pin focused on Tulip One Step Tie-Dye that at this point has had over 25,000 repins, just a single pin, and we have others that have come very close to that standard as well. Allison, thank you so much. This is certainly relevant information for any of our suppliers watching in any category. We really appreciate you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Be sure to like Ethan Walton on Facebook. The mission of Single Parent Scholarship Fund of Benton County is to enable single parents to attain self-sufficiency through post-secondary education. Call our office at 479-254-8550. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. Youth Bridges Holiday Giving Program, benefiting youth in need, kicks off December 4th. Call 479-575-9471 or visit www.youthbridge.com. GigWalk is transforming how work gets done. As the leading mobile workforce management platform, GigWalk provides companies with mobile tools and a data-driven approach to improving business efficiency. Leading brands and retailers use GigWalk to manage their field teams and to mobilize 750,000 GigWalkers to collect data intelligence about their business and brands. Are the shelves stocked? Are my products priced competitively? Are the correct promotions in place? Visit us at gigwalk.com to learn more. Gigwalk, make work better. Do Monday morning reports make your headache? Take two aspirin and call us in the morning. Ethan Walton for a needs assessment, custom training in a confidential setting, and classes online and in person. Call Ethan Walton 479-715-6700 and feel better fast. Hi, I'm Leah Logan with Collective Bias. Did you know that on Pinterest, tutorials and DIY content has a 42% higher click-through rate than other types of pins? And that over 20% buy craft-related products found on Pinterest? Because of Pinterest, DIY and crafts are more popular than ever. So how do you get your craft products in front of these eager DIYers? Instead of just telling them about your products, show them by using influencers to use your products in their fun DIY crafts. Check out this DIY school supply station featuring scotch tape and post-its. This has been repinned nearly 500 times. Pinterest is a craft products goldmine. Here are some tips to maximize the platform. 
First, make sure you keep your user in mind. Don't be overly promotional. Additionally, use long vertical images which are perfect for tutorials. Bottom line, Pinterest users shop more and spend more than any other social platform. How are you getting your products in front of this user? That's it for me. I'll see you on social. Join us next week as we talk about household essentials. We'll look at everything from packaging to merchandising. We'll see you then. Our guests enjoy staying at the 21C Museum Hotel and hosting dinner, meetings, and product launches there. To record this show, set your DVR to focus on suppliers, Sundays at 5 a.m. on KNWA.